When you open up Autodesk Inventor for the first time, you're going to see a screen that looks very similar to this. If you've used Inventor before and you've worked on several projects, you may see a list of files that you've recently opened here. Um, Autodesk Inventor gives you the option to preset how the program opens. So I want to show you how to uh, set a couple things up. Uh, this is how I set up Inventor so that I use it. Um, also, I encourage my students to set up Autodesk Inventor the same way. Uh, very simple to do, but I think it helps make things a little bit easier. So this is what it looks like by default when you open up Autodesk Inventor. To make some changes, we're going to go to File, and then we're going to go to Options right here. Once you do that, this dialog box opens up and you traditionally you will start in the general tab. This is where it will open on the general tab. First thing I want to do is change the startup option. So when Autodesk Inventor starts up, what do I want to have happen? So I want to change this right now. Nothing happens, but what you see here, it goes to the recents um, screen. I'm going to change, I'm going to check this and then I'm going to choose new. So when I open up Autodesk Inventor, the first thing it's going to ask me to do is to create a new file. I like to do that. Um, and I'll show you what that looks like in just a moment. I'm also going to change down here on the home section. I'm going to change this and un just simply uncheck this. I don't want to show the home at startup. So I'm going to just simply uncheck that. Next, I'm going to go to the Display tab and click on that. And there's a, just one little thing I want to do here. So right here under Zoom Behavior, I like to change uh, the direction of the zoom as it um, is set default, as default. So I'm going to check that. So I want to reverse direction, which simply means it, it zooms in the direction that I'm accustomed to it zooming. Um, if you're a first-time CAD user, you may not have a preference, but... This is just simply my preference, and if I come and help a student, I traditionally like my students to have it set the way that I'm used to zooming. So I check this right here where it says reverse uh, direction. The next tab I need to go to is the sketch tab. Here I want to make just a couple changes that you may not be uh, even aware of how they're going to look because if you're a first-time Autodesk Inventor user, you're not going to know what these changes are actually um, going to do. So, uh, but right here under display, uh, I'm going to uncheck minor grid lines and I'm going to check grid lines. Um, the other thing that I like to to check or open up is right here where it says Auto Project Edges for Sketch Creation and Edit. I want to check that. So that means anytime I create a 2D sketch, it's going to auto project the edges of the surface that I'm working on. I think that's a useful um, uh, little function. And so I'll always like to turn that on. The next tab I'm going to go to and make some changes is on the part tab. Here you will notice some options here, but the main area I want you to focus in on is right here. So sketch on new part creation right now. When I create a new standard IPT file, there will be no sketch. Uh, so it'll just look empty. Um, and so you won't be able to st start drawing a 2D sketch right away. I personally like to sketch on the XY plane. This is traditionally the front plane. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and choose that so that when I create a new standard IPT file, it's going to immediately open up into the XY plane and I'm going to see something that looks like grid paper, and I can just start drawing right away. Um, there is a way that if you leave this unchecked that you can just simply um, choose the plane in which you want to start working on first. So uh, if you want to work on the front plane, the top plane, or the right side plane, you can choose one of these um, after the program open, after the file is created, and then start working. But I, I like this, so I'm, I'll always like to turn that on. The last tab I'd like to make a change on is under the assembly tab. So anytime you're putting multiple parts together and you're going to want to test 
how well you put those parts together. So what I traditionally like to do is that the first part that I bring into my assembly, I want to make sure that that part is grounded or cannot move. So I'm going to check this option right here, place and ground first component at origin. So it just simply means the first part that I pull in, whatever that may be, it's going to be grounded. So everything that gets um, put together will be put together with that part's position. So you got to be very um, thoughtful in what part you want to pull in first. So um, you might want to pull in the largest part first. And then if all the other parts are going to attach to it, you may want to bring that in first so that that first part will be grounded. Those are the settings that I traditionally like to make in Autodesk Inventor. Uh, they're not required. You can still use the program set up the way it is by default. But these are just some things that I found over the years that help using Autodesk Inventor a little bit easier. I want to show you what it looks like now that we've made these changes. I want to show you what it looks like when you open up a file. The main file that you will notice all these changes will be in the standard IPT file. The way that I have configured the computers in the computer lab to run Autodesk Inventor, I have created a folder on each computer that's called Aiken High School. These are files that we traditionally use a lot. There are many others, but you just need to make sure that the templates that are being viewed are, are, are being pulled from this Aiken High School folder. So uh, you may open up Inventor for the first time and you may it may be set on something that's looking at um, English and you're looking at all these template files, but just choose the Aiken High School template file and I'm just gonna simply start a standard IPT file. I will explain each of these file types in a, another video. Um, but for now, I'm just going to show you what it looks like after we've made these setting changes and what it looks like after I create a standard IPT file. So I'm going to click on that and hit create. Now that I have created this standard IPT file, you will see what the screen looks like. Here are the, the graph paper screen I was talking about. I'm just going to simply uh, zoom out by using the scroll button on my mouse. I'm just going to zoom out and show you what this looks like and just kind of panning around, you'll notice that this right here is the origin of this file. So this is where I would want to kind of start drawing everything. It's not required. You can draw off to the, away from the origin, but um, I usually like to kind of work around this point. This is zero, zero or the origin, but this is kind of what it looks like. Uh, this allows me to create a new standard IPT file and start working right off the bat. 